I really wanted to be outside today because of the awesome foliage. I live on the side of a mountain now and the tree in, in the woods and the trees are just beautiful. They are so beautiful. The squirrels are going crazy now. They are constantly attacking my bird feeders and they do some crazy acrobatics to get at those seeds. So. Let's talk about some Burberry. So it comes in the standard cardboard outer packaging. The actual case of it comes in the same kind of packaging as the blushes. It does come with a little brush that goes in the front cover of the pouch. You can see this is shorter and then the actual blush goes in the little pocket. I have used the brush. It's very thin and fairly soft. To actually apply the highlighter with this is it applies it very strongly. So if you want a really strong, lots of amount of powder, try out the brush. I wasn't that big of a fan. It is very soft. It's got Burberry stamped on it. It's a nice brush. It's just, it applies it really strongly. And it's so thin that you get a really cut edge with it. So. I have a bit of a horror story to tell you. If you don't like seeing very expensive makeup products and catastrophes, you might want to skip this part because this happened to me two weeks into having it. I've had it for about a month now and this was awful. So I'm going to, I'm going to walk you through what happened. Basically, <clears throat> I opened it. I was using it, um, I tilted it up in order to, you know, push my brush in there, and when I did, yeah, yeah, the whole thing fell out. Luckily, I took some pictures before this happened so that you can see it in close-ups in its pristine condition. Right now, all you can see is a pan with a tiny chunk and little pieces that I have to collect and put back in there. Um, and, and the pan. So basically, how it got that way is that this pan was unglued. So, um, depending on how you hold it, I don't want more things to fall everywhere, but depending on how you hold it, the it is magnetized, but it will flip down and hang like that. Sometimes the magnet doesn't catch it because only this end is magnetized. This end, not magnetized. This end, when you hold <laughs> There, you can see, magnetized. This end, not. So it will tip out of this top, sometimes catch on this, and, it, and would catch it. Um, sometimes the magnet doesn't catch it, in which case it will fall on the ground, and that is how all of my product ended up dead. So now I'm gonna collect those little pieces and move on with the review. And I also want to mention that I've never had a quality control problem with any of my Burberry products. I think it was probably just a fluke that mine wasn't glued in completely and fell and crumbled. This product is so soft, so soft, that it immediately falls into crumbly pieces. Like I was just picking up, you know, delicately trying to pick up the pieces and look at all of that product 
that just comes off and it's very soft which is good <laughs> when you're trying to apply it not good if you're trying to save it and it really has no hope if it falls it doesn't stand a chance it's so soft that it just immediately <laughs> it shatters so I have my little pieces collected in here I'm not gonna tip it again because I don't want to go through that horror again so let's talk about the product it does have a smell which is now all over my hands <clears throat> it's a pleasant smell identical I'm assuming to the face powders because I don't own any of those I wouldn't be able to say for sure it's such a soft powder that it is beautiful to apply. It does kick up dust even when it's in one piece. If you fluff a brush across it, it does produce a lot of excess powder. Let's talk a little bit about the color. It's a beautiful creamy pink. It does not have any traces of glitter or sparkle in it. Completely different than a shimmer brick. Really, the color mostly lightens the area that you want to highlight. It doesn't add a very wet or dewy glisten. It has a subtle sheen and then because it is a pale pink it actually just lightens the area. Today I'm going to compare it to the Hourglass Ambient Powder in Mood which is their pink version of a Powder. I'm also going to compare it to a limited edition Chanel product and I'm going to compare it to my first highlighter love, the Burberry Fresh Glow Fluid. This was the first highlighting sort of product that they came out with. I've had it for probably almost two years now. I can't remember exactly when I got it, but I think I mentioned in my travel makeup bag video that I love this more recently. I actually didn't use it for probably the first year that I owned it and then I started using it and loved it. More recently I have found another highlighter that is the love of my life and it came in a little sample. I haven't shown you this in a haul yet. It's a beige highlighter. It's beautiful. It's subtle. It doesn't emphasize anything. It blends in with your skin tone because it's beige and yet has this beautiful sheen. It's gorgeous, but that will be coming up in a video soon. Today, I'm just going to show you these three powders and then the original Fresh Glow. Okay, let's go ahead and this is what I look like before adding highlighter. Hopefully you can see I do have some sheen on my cheeks because my foundation is naturally a little bit dewy. So, what I did before it, like now it's just in so many tiny pieces, before it was a main solid hunk that just fell out, but it has further shattered in my demonstration. So I used to rub, just rub my finger lightly across the top. <laughs> now I'm just going to dab at some pieces. And then I'm going to use the mirror of my hourglass so that I can see what I'm doing. So how I like to use it is just run my finger on my cheekbone. Then I'll take a clean finger and diffuse the edges so it's not a streak. So now, hopefully you can see, there's a nice sheen to it. No sparkle. It's not like a shimmer brick. And it really just lightens that area. And if you work it in, it's very subtle. It is very subtle. If you wanted, I'm sure you could put on more. I'll put on more right now. I just don't like applying too much because then it becomes really obvious that you're wearing a highlighter. And I don't like to look too obvious, you know? So if you put it on the front here so it will shine when people look at you face on. It doesn't really emphasize too many pores. Of course, I don't have hugely ginormous pores, I don't feel like, in that area, but that's when it starts to emphasize dryness that I see definitely in the hourglass, is right in this area. When you put on a lot of powder, it just really 
makes it noticeably dry. Now, on this side, I'm gonna show you the Fresh Glow Fluid. And if you look at these side by side, which you know you can only do from an angle because I don't wanna spill it, they are both the same color, pretty much. Pale pink. Pale pinky beige. This is a little less pink in color. And when I say pink, I don't mean like a blush. Like this does not look like a blush. Warmer skin tones could pull it off as well. Shake it up because it does separate like a damp beauty blender. And I'm gonna put the teeniest amount. You can also apply this with a finger. No glitter. This is more reflective of the light than the powder. And that's just because this is a fluid. Very similar effect in that it is a subtle highlight. And in this lighting, it might not look like I'm, I'm glowing <laughs> in a very dewy way, but it really is. Of course, the powder is going to look different than, than the fluid because the fluid is a fluid. It's going to catch the light just like if I had a glistening cheek. The powder is going to reflect it in the way that only a powder can. They are both $48, so price uh, shouldn't hold you back. There is two different colors in both now. Price isn't affecting which one you should buy. It's really, do you prefer a powder highlight or do you prefer a fluid highlight? So now I'm going to compare the three powders. Burberry powder here mood and put it here so already you can see mood is an what I would call actual pink powder that does have a nice sheen to it the fresh glow I said it was pink but it really is more of like milky pink don't think with this Burberry powder that you're if you're olive or more yellow undertone that you can't wear it because I'm saying the words pink. It's not, you know, don't be afraid of that. Since it's not the Chanel was limited edition, I know you can no longer get it, but I want to compare it in case you already have it. And, and it seems like a crime to have something so beautiful <laughs> that I have yet to touch. Now, Chanel. which is barely going to show up on my hand. The Chanel limited edition was slightly more neutral yellow. You're never going to notice that on your face, but just to be thorough, there is a slight difference. Also in the light, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to pick up from this far away, but the um, Chanel really does have very fine little glitters in it. Really coming down to the nitty gritty. It's the same price as the fluid. I prefer the fluid. It's just gonna come down to what you prefer. Do you like powders or do you like fluid? I do think this is very subtle. If you're worried about being a glitter ball, this is a good highlighter to check out because you're not gonna be glittery. You're just gonna have a subtle reflection on your cheekbones. So that's really what I have to say about it and the horror that is it falling and crumbling is, is very sad, but I mean, what are you going to do? Things happen. So things to keep an eye out for in the future, I'm going to be talking about Kogan Doe. I love this little highlighter. I'm down to probably here already. I have used it every day since I've gotten it. I've also used the foundation every day. It was their new Mei Fanchi Aqua. And I picked up something yesterday by Guerlain. You might recognize this top. It is limited edition, so I need to talk about it really soon. Crazy Terracotta. Should I give you a sneak preview? And why do I ask these questions? Of course I'm gonna give you a sneak preview. This is what it looks like. There you go. I'm going to have to talk about it really soon. It's beautiful. It, I don't want to say it's better than the other terracottas that I have. 
but it's better than the other terracottas that I have from Guerlain. So <laughs> I'll be doing a video on that really soon. I'm considering also picking up the pressed meteorites that came out with that collection. I need to decide soon though, obviously. And I think that's all I have to share with you today. So I hope you are having a great day. I thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Any comments, leave them down below. I always try to get back to you as quickly as I can. Oh, I do have some other big news, which won't be big news to you guys probably, but I have a new job, which has a lot crazier hours than I had before. It's actually kind of a complicated story, um, which won't happen in this video probably. I'll see you soon.